Hi, today I want to test these applicators. Um, I normally work with pastel pencils and soft pastel sticks, but um, I also use sometimes pen pastels and I have used the cosmetic brushes and the cotton swabs for um, applying the pastel pigment onto the paper. And now I've ordered these um, applicators, these tools. Um, and I wanted to test them with the pen pastels uh, and how they work, how easy it is to apply the pigment out of the pens to the paper. Let's dive in. Just wait a second. If you're a beginner, if you are just starting out, I have a free beginner's guide with a lot of tips and tricks for drawing realistic animal portraits with pastels. You can find the PDF in the link below in the description. In this video, I want to show you or I want to test these applicators for pen pastels. They are soft knives and covers. You can paint with them or pick up the pastel pigment and apply it on your drawing. They come here, so I have uh, received here four different tools with different shapes and these little sponges here. Um, they have delivered these twice so that I also can change them. And then you have to put these little sponges here on the applicators. Put, so put them here over the applicators. This is working well. And then let's try it out how they work. So put that on top of them, push a little bit. This is working really nicely. There is then also such a triangle one with a small tip. I think that tool is really very useful for smaller areas and one in a rectang rectangle shape. Rectangle shape. So put that over the applicator. Okay, and then let's test it. Let's take the first one. This in the rectangle shape. This is useful for larger areas, I assume. So let's put these pans a little bit more backwards and then let's test it out. So I take the white pen pastel here and then I pick up a little bit of the pigment here with this sponge. You can either use the front part or the whole sponge here when you really push it a bit more and pick up here a lot of pastel pigment and then you could you can try to let's take it let's apply it here and I use your middle pressure not too much pressure but this is working really nicely I have a nice uh, layer here let's then take again a bit of the pigment and add another layer. Yes, and now I have a nice covered base layer here. I think this is working really well for larger portraits where you need so where you need corners. You could here really apply nice so corners and shapes with with hard, so with corners, not round lines, straight lines. This is really working really, very well. You could also maybe pick up just a bit of pigment with the front part and draw lines. So draw some stripes if needed. This is also working really well. Pick up pigment and add it here to your pastel paper. Yes, maybe blend the layers a bit together here with that tool. 
we could also use that for blending and let the edges fade a little bit into the background paper that's also working really well so nice let's then take the round one here this with this um, shape this more narrow shape but with the round front part this I could use for smaller areas let's pick up a bit of the gray pigment here and then let's maybe you can use it a bit like a, a pencil and apply the pigment in smaller areas this is also really nice pick up a bit of pigment and apply it so in little circles for example in your animal portraits for smaller areas to apply the base layer or also use it for blending or use of the front part here so that I pick up a bit of pigment maybe draw some little dots that's also possible or blend a fine thin base layer and also let it fade into the background draw some little dots this could also be useful when you're doing a bit of sand or something like that or create a skin structure just to use these tools and pick up a bit of the pen pastel and mix colors so here the gray maybe a bit green here to it and so for backgrounds when you're drawing stones for example a bit white on it take a bit black again bring in a bit of shadow and a bit of white pick up a bit white or some highlights yes yeah, so this is really working well also to create maybe stones or a bit of a lichen or moss or lichen or moss in your backgrounds this is working really nicely let's also test here again the whole um, sponge that we apply here such a shape you could draw flowers for example or any shapes you wish with the, with that sponge so this is really nice a bit green bringing me here a bit green this would really work also for nice blurry backgrounds it's a nice tool to work with also for larger portraits I think this one is also great for small areas when you let's pick up a bit of the gray here for example when you really have to to maybe uh, draw an ear of a cat and would like to make the base layer here with pan pastels yes and then it's more it's really great to use a bit like a a paper stamp like a, a pencil you can really work here so you can really draw a, ni a nice sharp point and plot in the pen pastel in small areas so here small little little circles or use the front tip and just yes use it here for blending the colors in different directions this is really nice so maybe let's take uh, a bit of black here and add a black outline plot in here a bit black around this inner part of the ear or something like that bring in here a bit of the black and then also you can use that tool for blending it a bit into the surrounded areas here of course you have then to refine it with the pencils 
but for doing a base layer this is really working well I'm blending with the other side blend the layers together maybe pick up a bit white and brighten up the inner part here a bit make it lighter yes so this is really nice to draw strokes to draw shapes yes i like the tools maybe take draws let's test to draw with that round one here pick up the pigment this is also a nice shape for drawing for example a blurry background with some circles take a white and add here some white lighter circles mix green colors the pen pastels are really so nice colors you can mix them easily the pastel pigment is soft um, and with these tools you can really blend them well you can here mix green and white together really beautifully let's darken it down here a bit with the black you can experiment take a sheet of paper with these tools these are called soft tools and uh, they are working really nicely for pen pestles so if you're working with the pen pestles I can highly recommend them they are a bit gray mix the gray a bit with the black yes or also draw larger areas by moving this tool forwards and backwards the paper is covered really nicely with the pen pastels it's easier to plot in a base layer than with the pencils you don't need so many layers of course you have to be careful that you don't apply too much pigment but I really like those tools and they are worth to test it um, in my opinion you don't need all the different shapes I like the small thin one this one for the smaller areas you can really use it like a pencil and also one um, larger one would be enough if you draw more with so rectangles and squares and lines this one could be an advantage or otherwise for plotting in pigment in backgrounds and create blurry backgrounds with a bouquet or these uh, round circles this one would work better or well, this is also a nice tool so um, they are totally worth to use if you would like to try out pastel uh, pigment um, of the pen pastels so uh, I can highly recommend them oh yes I liked them I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, you are now curious and would like to try these applicators out if you're a beginner then I can recommend to uh, download my free beginner's guide I have here tips and tricks that are helpful for your start drawing realistic animal portraits with pastels for the start just pencils and a, a high quality pastel paper is um, enough you don't have to use soft pastels pen pastels and so on this is a more advanced topic and if you like the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then i hope i see you in the next video bye bye